About 70 American hijackers still live in Cuba, but only a few move freely and have adjusted to the society. The rest are in jail or mental hospitals, and about 15 live in an old Havana hotel at government expense. They cannot leave and they cannot work. They exist in fear. For this reason, we agreed not to film those who didn't want to be or film their building. But 40-year-old Keith Rowe, formerly of Fort Myers, agreed to be seen with us, a move considered very dangerous by the other hijackers. He took a Texas shrimp boat in 1970 and planned to eventually get to North Korea to check on the crew of the Pueblo, the American spy ship. He spent two years in jail instead. Rowe admits to a history of mental problems, and he's now a man without a country. Has it been tough? Tough? Hell yes, it's been tough. It's been, uh, it's been insane. Why? Completely different social status of uh, existence, a complete uh, lack of comprehension on anyone else's part as to what an American citizen would be going through trying to live in this environment under the extreme pressure and conditions that, uh, that I was forced to live under. I mean, uh, they can't comprehend this. If they do, they obviously enjoy some sadistic pleasure at taking advantage of, of an American or to see if he's going to go insane or not. Some have. Why? Why? <laughs> if you live this for any length of time... What's this? The way I've lived in this country, the way we've lived in this place, uh, since we've been here, numerous hijackers have been killed, either committing suicide, hanging themselves. Uh, one jumped off a building, other climbed a fence, let the, the people shoot him down with a machine gun, trying to escape from Givicon. He couldn't take it anymore. He knew he'd be killed. Others hung themselves in G2. That's a prison. No, that's the military security lockup. When you arrive in this country, they never got out of there. Uh, of course, it's a crude bunch of people that came down here. And why I can't get out of here, I don't know. Maybe I was because they're waiting for me to go insane or something, or I don't know. But they've refused to issue a permit for my release in the past. I'm supposed to have permission to leave now. Are you sorry you ever took the boat down here? No, but I guarantee you I'll never do it again. I talked to two other Americans here in Havana who hijacked airplanes to this country, and they spent a lot of time in jail as punishment. They were afraid to be interviewed on camera, but they say they feel they're not wanted by either Cuba or the United States. Right now, they are living in an old Havana hotel in mental misery with no work and little to do. And all the 20 men there say they are willing to pay any price if only they would be allowed to come home. Ike Siemens, Channel 4 News, Havana.